Hello people, this is self -Turks. and in this video, we will be installing Logstash on Ubuntu 18.04. So Ubuntu 18.04 is a Linux machine or it is a Linux flavor and we'll be installing Logstash onto it. Logstash is a component of ELK ecosystem. E stands for Elasticsearch, L stands for Logstash and K stands for Kibana. So the L component here in the whole ELK ecosystem is the Logstash. Now, the Logstash has three responsibilities. One is what it ingests data from multiple sources, then it transforms the data and then it sends the data to multiple stash. So this can be considered as sync source and this can be considered as sync. So basically if you see a diagrammatic view, so this part is the Logstash and it is trying to consume messages or data from the different sources and then it is trying to push the data to multiple sync or stash. So this is let's say database this is kafka so it can read data from here and then it can push the data to here but all these things are very simple to do by doing some configuration we'll focus on this video for installing our logstash on ubuntu 18.04 and in my some other videos i'll explain logstash in full detail i've already created a post on my website that is selfdots.com where you can see the full details of the installation so let's go to chrome browser and here i'll search for my website and here you can see that this is my website if you are opening at a different time the look may be different but there is a post here where i have written how to install logstash on ubuntu 18.04 i'll provide the link of this particular post in the description of this video and then you can follow this post also to install Logstash on Ubuntu 18.04. So now the first important prerequisite here is what the Java must be installed on your Ubuntu 18.04 system. So if the version that you're using is 18.04 so Java must be installed. So I'll go to my Linux box here and here, I, here I'll say Java and then version. So here you can see that I have Java 11 installed on local machine. You can have Java 1.8 or anything. It depends upon when you're using this video to see the installation of Logstash on Ubuntu 18.04. So I have Java already installed. Then what you need to do is you need to download and install the public signing key. So there's an apt repository for every Ubuntu system and you have to add that key here. So I'll just copy this one and then I'll come to my Linux box and I'll paste it. So I'll hit enter and it will say that, okay, that the key has been downloaded and it has been saved inside the apt repository, local apt repository. So the apt key is a command which is used to add keys to it. So apt key dot add. So you can add a key to the, uh, to the app get repository, which is installed locally or the client. After that, you need to install some dependencies on your machine so that Logstash can work properly. And one of the dependencies is this app transport HTTPS. So I'll just copy this command and then I'll come here and hit enter. So what is it is saying that I have already downloaded it previously. So it is saying that, okay, zero upgraded, but this was installed. If it is not present on your machine, then it, then it will get installed. Finally, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to add this deb stable main repository or app list inside this file so i'll show you what will happen so this is a file here etc apt source elastic if i come here i'll copy it and then if i use vim to paste it and open it so you can see there's a list of all the packages from where you can download the different apt based or ubuntu based packages so we need to do what we need to copy this particular URL so that we can download the Logstash uh, things from this 7.x apt. So what it is doing, it is doing echo and then it is sudo t and then it means that it is just writing to it. Means if you want to open the file and then add this command here, that is also fine. But you can just copy and paste this here. So I'll come out of it and I'll just paste it here. And if I hit enter, what it will do, it will add this 7.x app to this file up to here it is okay now what you need to do since you have added a new app repository here or the app configuration or the artifact so you need to update it so we'll copy this command and then we can paste it here so i'll do it and it will try to update my local app repository all the new things that are that have been published to the app that will be downloaded to my local system so it is saying that okay this is connecting some uh, repositories or artifacts and it, it is downloading all the new things from there 
So this command is done and we have all the new things that is needed for our system. I'll clear my screen and then we'll go to the next thing that is what we'll install Logstash. So I'll do what apt-get install Logstash. This is the command to install anything on Ubuntu. apt-get is the local um, or the client for the apt-get repository and you're hitting the uh, thing that is install Logstash. So I'll hit enter. So it is setting up some new configuration like the startup options file is here and then it is creating some symlinks and other things. So that is not needed by us to understand. So now I think the Logstash has been successfully downloaded. Once the Logstash is downloaded, you need to check that the installation is successful or not. So we will use the systemctl command of Ubuntu to check the status of any service. So I'll come here and I'll say systemctl status and then Logstash. So what this will do, this will check the Logstash service that it is running or not, or it is working fine. So what it is saying that active is inactive, which means that the Logstash is not started. It has been installed, but it is not up and running. Then what we need to do, you need to go to the Ubuntu box and you need to start Logstash. So that can be done by using the systemctl start command. So I'll come here and I'll say systemctl start and then Logstash. So this is a command which is used to start any other services means all the services can be started using the systemctl start or they can be stopped or the status can be checked by using the systemctl status command. So if I do here it will ask me for my root password so I'll enter my root password and this time if I do systemctl status log stash so you will see that it is active and running so you can see here that it is active and running so the log stash was successfully installed on my ubuntu 18.04 and we can see that it is up and running now some important configuration that you need to understand is what where do you put your log stash configuration so if I come here so you have a configuration that is what you need to read data from sources you need to transform the data and you need to send the data to multiple stash so you need to write some configuration so if you're working on log stash so you knew you know that there are some configuration file where you provide the input transformation and output thing and from where the log stash reads those pipelines and then it implements it so the folder where you will write your configuration is slash etc log stash and then conf d so I'll just go to my Linux box here and we will clear the screen and then I'll go to this particular uh, folder that is slash etc log stash. So slash etc and then log stash and then conf t. So conf t. So if I come here and do a ls it is empty. So there's no current there's no log stash configuration as of now. So now what I'll do I'll create a new configuration. So I want to read data from Kafka and send it to Elasticsearch. Let's say so I'll create this file. Okay, so the file has been okay, I need some sudo configuration. So I'll just say sudo and do ls. So the file has been created. And then I will open this in sudo mode and I'll put some configuration here. So I'll put this configuration. So this configuration says what? It says that there is an input that we are, we are trying to consume data from Kafka and the bootstrap server is there. So you need to provide the server address here. And this is the topic name from where you want to read the data. And this is the output that you want to put output or send the data to Elasticsearch, which is running here and the in this index and this worker. So if you are so if you know about Elasticsearch and Kafka, then you will understand this configuration, but it is not needed for this video. I'm just trying to make you understand that where do you want to put your configuration. So we will do write and quit. Now one more important thing is that when you run something, so you need to uh, you need you need to have some ways through which you can check the logs. So the logs for Logstash is present inside where log Logstash. So I'll go here cd slash where log and then logstash so if i come here you can see there are these files that are present here so these are the logstash files so if i do cat and then this logstash plain dot log so you can see here that these are the logs so in the logs what we are getting we are getting that you can see localhost 127.0 the port which we have assigned is 9093 and somewhere it will be 9092 will be also there okay fine you can search it later on so as soon as you save your file the logstash will start the pipeline and it will try to consume and then send the data because we don't have any kafka or elastic search that's why 
these configurations or these errors are running so it is disconnected disconnected because error there is no kafka and elastic search present on my local machine so hope you understood this video that how you can install logstash on your local machine that is ubuntu 18.04 you can follow my uh, post here that install logstash on ubuntu 18.04 and you can then install it on your ubuntu 18.04 the new machine that you have created so i'll share the link for this particular post in this video description so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people thank you